Welcome back to Number Zoo. Do you want to help me feed the animals their meals? All of the animals eat their meals at different times of the day. And they all have their favourite food to eat. Look, it's the special Number Zoo clock that tells us what time it is. The little hand is pointing to number eight. And the big hand is pointing straight up at number 12. That means it's eight o'clock. Time for a morning feed for Leon the lion. Lions are carnivores, which means they mainly eat meat. Shall we feed Leon some meat? Gobble, gobble. It's now 10 o'clock. Look, the small hand is now pointing at number 10. That means it's time for the penguins to have breakfast. What do penguins love to eat? That's right, fish. Luckily, we have lots of fish in this bucket here. Let's throw the fish to the penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fishies should be enough for your breakfast. It's 12 o'clock, also known as midday. Look at that. Midday means that both hands are pointing at number 12. And it means we need to go and feed the tallest animal in the zoo, the giraffe. Unlike Leon the lion, who is a carnivore, Jenny is a herbivore, meaning she only eats plants. Giraffes like to eat the best leaves and twigs from the top of the tree. These leaves are nice and high, so Jenny the giraffe gets to stretch that long neck of hers. The time is now half past one. Look, the small hand is pointing between one and two and the big hand is halfway round the clock, pointing to the bottom. That means we're halfway between one o'clock and two o'clock. Half past one. I think it's time to visit Gary the gorilla. We have some lovely fruit, seeds and leaves here for you. Gorillas need lots of food, so let's throw him all of this yummy stuff. Can you spot the big hand pointing down at the bottom of the clock? This means it's half past again. Look, the small hand is now between two and three, which means it is half past two and time to feed Benji the bear. Let's give him a treat today. His favorite food is a certain type of fish, a salmon. There you go, buddy. Bon appétit. At three o'clock, it's time to feed another animal. Here's Ronnie the rhino, and she's looking hungry. She's another herbivore and enjoys eating grass and plants. So let's put a nice, fresh bag of grass and twigs out for her to munch on. Yum, yum.
It's now quarter past four. Can you see the big hand is now in a different place? It's a quarter of the way round the clock, but the little hand is pointing just after four. So it's quarter past four. I think we should go and feed the flamingos. Oh look! The flamingo's pink colour is a bit faded. Let's feed them some yummy pink shrimp. Ha! Look! When the flamingo eats the pink shrimp, her feathers turn pink. That's amazing! At five o'clock, it's time to give Billy the beaver some more food to eat. He eats the bark and leaves off a tree. Watch him chomp away at it. It's six o'clock now and time to feed the panda. Do you know what pandas love to eat? Well, a panda is actually quite fussy. They only eat leaves from the bamboo tree. We had to search high and low here at the zoo, but we've managed to find some lovely bamboo branches for Percy the panda. It's now getting late at the zoo, but there's just enough time for a nighttime snack. What time is it? Can you tell the time? Yes, the small hand is pointing at the eight and the big hand is pointing straight up to the top. That means it's eight o'clock. Let's give those cheeky monkeys a nighttime feast. What do monkeys love to eat? Yes, bananas. But they also love all sorts of ripe fruit and vegetables. So let's throw all sorts of delicious fruit and vegetables in there for them. It's closing time now at the zoo and all the animals are going to sleep. Thank you for helping us feed the animals today. Why not come back to Number Zoo next time and learn to count all the animals? Goodbye! A A is for alligator B B is for bear Whoa. C C is for camel D D is for dolphin E E is for elephant F F is for flamingo G G is for gorilla H H is for hippo I I is for iguana J J is for jellyfish K K is for kangaroo L L is for lion M 
M is for monkey. N. N is for newt. O. O is for owl. P. P is for penguin. Q. Q is for quail. R. R is for rhino. S. S is for snake. T. T is for tiger. U. U is for urchin. V. V is for vulture. W. W is for whale. is for x-ray fish. Y. Y is for yak. And Z. Z is for zebra. Thanks for learning Animal ABC with us. See you again next time. We're playing a game here at Number Zoo. The animals are hiding. It's up to me and you. To spot a nose, a tail, some ears, a beak. In this happy game of animal hide and seek. Now, what are these lying here strewn all around? now. Could you please turn around? It's a monkey. Oh look, what's that now? Another banana? But with green scaly spikes. Ha ha, of course, it's an iguana. Who's hiding now? And what are those? Stripes. What was that growling? Mouse, get out of here! Yikes! Of course, a tiger. Did you get that too? You did? Wasn't he scary? I hope we don't meet any more scary creatures now. Come on, let's go somewhere less jungly. Oh look! We can cross on this log by this stream. But wait, are they claws? Surely logs aren't this green? Unless, yes it is. It's an a, 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 alligator. Run! Phew, that was close. No more scares, please. Just hiding, okay? Let's sit for a while. Have a snack. Then we'll go. Hey, that's not a hook, it's a horn. It's a rhino. What a good hiding place, Mr. Rhino. What a good place to hang a hat. Funny, clever rhino. Who could be hiding now? What's by that big rock? Look, 
there are some feet. And poo! What's that smell? It's raw, rotten meat. Ew! What animal would eat that? A vulture, of course. Who will we find next, I wonder? This sofa looks comfy. Love the warm, fluffy back. Wait a second, it's moved. Ha ha, that's because it's a yak. Who else might be hiding, do you think? How strange, how absurd. One leg and no head. Hang on, it's a rather sleepy flamingo bird. That's a funny way to sleep. Now who'll be next? Who's hiding, do you think? Look, a party with lots and lots of delicious looking food. Yum. Mmm, cake on a plate. Jelly on a dish. Mmm, but wobbling that much. Hey, wait, that's not food. It's a wibbly wobbling jellyfish. Ha-ha! Cheeky jellyfish, were you pretending to be party food? That could have been nasty, you crazy wobbling jellyfish. I wonder who's hiding now? A penguin! But you're not hiding, are you, Mrs. Penguin? Hey, wait! What are those underneath by your tummy? Four feet? No, that's a baby. And you are its mummy. What a cute baby penguin that was. I wonder who else might be hiding in the zoo. Hey, stop. What was that? Moving there in the leaves. Oh, look. It's a munching giraffe that's as tall as the trees. Time to go home now. Let's finish our game. What's there by the tree? A claw, now a mane. Of course, it's a lion. Well done, Mr. Lion. I must say, you've all hidden really well. I've had a lot of fun. Have you? So see you next time, down at Number Zoo. There's more animals hiding down at Number Zoo today. Shall we see who wants to come out and play? Now, where did that pond go? And who used that hose? Aha, now I've guessed it. An elephant's nose. Hey, another splash. Who made that? ball? Now why did that ball roll away from the wall? Aha, I know. That's a dolphin's nose. Good hiding place, Mr. Dolphin. But the ball gave you away. I'm sure that small island just moved about. And there, did you see all that water shoot out? You did too? It's you! Well done, Mr. Whale. You're so big you nearly got away with that. Oh look, some zebras. A dad and a mum. But 12 legs between them? Well, that must be wrong. Unless... Ah, there is. I thought so. Hello, little zebra. What a fantastic way to use your stripes. Hey, what's that in there? Inside that bamboo? One eye, now another. Hey, panda, it's you. Now what hit my head then? 
twig from a tree? And that black shape there, is it a knee? It is. It's a gorilla's knee. Of course, you love hiding in trees, don't you? Now, what else would be hiding so high in the sky? Someone who climbs, or someone who flies. An owl. You do look tired, Mrs. Owl. Have you been up all night chasing mice? Well, no wonder you're tired. Are you having fun there, kangaroo mummy? Hey, what's that in there? In that pouch on your tummy? Ah, oh, hello little Joey. Were you hiding there all along? What a warm, safe place to hide. Great choice. I don't think I've noticed this hose before. With patterns all over. Curled up on the floor. That's not a hose. It's hissing too much. I knew it. It's a slithering, hissing snake. Yikes! What were they then? Somebody's toes? Somebody hiding? Oh look, now a nose. A newt nose. We found you. Off you go then, little newt. Have a nice swim. Hello, Mrs. Quail. What's that by your leg? Half buried in the sand. Is it an egg? It is. Oh look, now it's hatching. You did hide your egg so very well, Mummy Quail. Now what's this I see in the water right here? Two funny nostrils, two eyes and two ears. It's a huge hippopotamus. Wow! Good hiding, Mr Happy Hippo. I've had so much fun again. Have you? We'll see you next time for more Number Zoo. I see you. You're hiding. Right under my nose. Ha ha. There, I found you. Now, where did he go? Oh, you cheeky, cheating cheetah. You are simply too fast to see. Odd looking shape. In fact, what is that? Ah, it's an upside down, turn around, hanging down bat. Wow, those wings make a very good cloak for hiding in, don't they, Mr. Bat? Come on, let's sit down and rest over there. Hey, that's not a rug. It's a furry bear! Wow! Mrs. Bear, you were so still, you really fooled me! How strange! Some sand just moved. A big lump. Aha! That's not sand. It's a camel's hump. Great hiding place. But your hump gave you away, didn't it, Mr. Camel? What's hiding there? By that rock in the pool. Don't tread on it. No, no! Don't act like a fool. Ouch! It's an urchin, of course. Just look at those spiky spikes. Yikes! I just saw something out for a feed. An x-ray fish. 
hiding in the seaweed. Wow! What a very see-through fish you are, Mr. X-Ray. Why is that moving? That lily pad leaf? Aha! Now I've guessed it. Someone's underneath. It's a beaver. Wow! You must have held your breath for a very long time to hide that well. Hey, what moved just then? Down there on the road. Is it somebody hiding? Ha ha! It's a toad. Mrs. Toad, what a fantastic camouflage. Oh look, an adorable tablecloth. That pattern just moved. Or is it a moth? No, no, no. That's not a moth. Why, it's a colourful, fluttering butterfly. of animals to meet today. There's mummies, daddies and babies who play. Animals on land and animals in the air. Let's start by looking over there. Hello Daddy Lion. Where's your baby? There she is. Your baby is called a cub. Hello, Mummy Alligator. Where's your baby? Hello. Your baby is called a hatchling. Hello, Mummy Elephant. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello Mummy Hummingbird, where's your baby? 
Your baby is called a chick. Hello, Daddy Frog. Where's your baby? Oh, look. Your babies are called tadpoles. They'll grow arms and legs soon and grow into frogs. Hello, Mummy Kangaroo. Where's your baby? There she is, in your cosy pouch. Your baby is called a joey. Hello, Daddy Seahorse. Where are your babies? Here they come. Your baby is called a fry. Hello, Mummy Zebra. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a foal. Hello, Mummy Swan. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a signet. Hello, Daddy Seal. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a pup. What wonderful animal families we've met today. See you all again soon. Bye. Hello, and welcome back to Number Zoo. If you look closely, the babies will come out for you. Hello, Daddy dear. Where's your baby? Oh, there you are. Your baby is called a fawn. Hello, Mummy Bat. Where's your baby? Hello, little one. Your baby is called a pup. Hello, Daddy Bear. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a cub. Hello, Mummy Camel. Where's your baby? Hello, Baby Camel. Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Mummy Flamingo. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a chick. And flamingo chicks are born white and will turn pink as they grow up and eat more pink shrimp, like their mummies and daddies. Hello, Daddy Gorilla. Where's your baby? Your baby is called an infant. Hello, Mummy Hedgehog. Where's your baby? Oh, here she comes now. Your baby is called a hoglet. Hello, Mummy Butterfly. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a caterpillar. Soon your caterpillar baby will go into a cocoon and turn into a beautiful butterfly, just like you. Hello, Mummy Owl. Where's your baby? Your baby is called an owlet. Hello, Daddy Spider. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a spiderling. Thanks for meeting all of the new mummies, daddies and babies with us today. See you again soon. Bye. Hello. It's great to see you back down at Number Zoo. Let's meet some new babies and their mummies and daddies too. Hello, Mummy Dolphin. Where's your baby? Oh, there she is. 
Your baby is called a pup. Hello, mummy penguin. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a chick and is very fluffy. Hello, Mr. Hippopotamus. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Queen Bumblebee. Where are your babies? Baby bumblebees are called larva. Did you know there are over 250 species of bumblebees? That's a lot. Hello, Mummy Tiger. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a cub. Hello, Mummy Zebra. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a foal. Hello, Mummy and Daddy Meerkat. Where are your babies? Oh, hello. Your babies are called kits. Hello, Daddy Giraffe. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Mummy Turtle. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a hatchling. Oh, hello, little hatchling. Hello, Mummy Eagle. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a fledgling. We've really enjoyed meeting all the new babies today. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next time down at Number Zoo. Bye! I'm Kirsty the Chameleon. There's something special about me. My skin changes colour, so I'm tricky to see. But I woke up this morning and something was wrong. My trick wasn't working. My colours have gone. I need to find them, but where can they be? I'm sure my friends at the zoo can help me. Have you met the animals? There are quite a few. Let's look for my colours as we go round the zoo. The lion's the king with a fine yellow coat and a roar that rumbles from the back of his throat. The gorilla is strong and his fur is dark grey. He might look quite scary, but he just loves to play. Down in the deep lives Harry the whale. His thick skin is blue from his nose to his tail. Alligator yawns. His teeth look so mean. His claws are quite sharp and his scales are dark green. My friend the flamingo loves to stand and just think. His feathers are soft and a lovely bright pink. The ladybird has wings tucked into her back. Her colour is red with a few spots of black. The black and white panda is cheeky and funny. She eats lots of bamboo and then rests when it's sunny. Coiled around a branch you cannot mistake. The shiny green shape of Lucinda the snake. With a shaggy brown coat, the bear lives in a cave. His claws may be sharp, but he knows how to behave.
The orange striped tiger pads around on all fours. She swishes her tail and she sharpens her claws. The penguin looks smart in a black and white suit. And his baby is soft and so fluffy and cute. This elephant is one of the kindest you'll meet. She's wrinkly and grey, and she's got massive feet. The monkey loves climbing, and his fur is light brown. From up in the tree, he loves to swing down. With a slimy red body and sticky red toes. How does Newt do it? Nobody knows. With a dusty grey hide and a horn on her nose, the rhino stands out wherever she goes. It's zoo closing time, so we must say goodbye. Are my colours back? I'll give it a try. Look at my skin, it's starting to glow, shimmering and bright, just like a rainbow. The night time is over and here comes the sun, shining brightly over Number Zoo. Wake up everyone! The monkey wakes first and soon wakes the whole zoo chattering and calling out ooh 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 wake up penguin time to rise and shine flap flap goes the penguin waddle waddle in a line squawk says flamingo stretching out his neck click click goes his beak as he gives a little peck Stomp, stomp, plods the elephant, swaying as he goes. Harumph! He trumpets proudly through his trunk and his nose. The bear is warm and cosy in his soft and cuddly fur. He stretches his paws and yawns a mighty grrr. Coil by coil, Look who is starting to wake. Good morning. Hiss, hiss, says our friend the snake. Lion gets up from his bed on the floor. He stretches his back and lets out a roar. The alligator wants to finish his nap, but it's time to wake up now. Snap, snap, snap. Dolphin wakes up and starts the day with a dash. He leaps out of the water with a click and a splash. Wakey, wakey, zebra. What do you say? With a snort and a trot, she replies with a neigh. Good morning, whale. Are you out and about? Whoosh, goes the water up out of her spout. Come on, sleepyhead. It's nearly half past. Grrr, growls Tiger as he wakes up at last. For Owl, it's not morning. It's bedtime instead. Good night, Number Zoo. I'm off to bed. <laughs>